Billy Carson, a self-inspired woke activist who has taken a devotion to learning and speaking about the Anunnaki, lost aliens that came to America at one point in time, has spoken about Jesus Christ in the Roman Catholic Church on a podcast, okay? We're gonna go ahead and hop into this video and see exactly what he's talking about and what he said about Jesus, all right? Let's go ahead and do that. But before we do, do me a quick favor. Hit that like button for the YouTube algorithm so YouTube can push this video out to more people like yourself. It really helps a lot. I appreciate you guys. And if you're not subscribed to the channel yet, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and let's hop into this video right now. Okay, so I just wanna give you guys some quick context on exactly what they're talking about right here in this part of the video. So they're speaking about the Anunnaki aliens and how they came to America and built pyramids and how they built Atlantis and how we're on top of Atlantis right now and how the Roman Catholic Church actually destroyed the temples and they turned them into heels, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and hop into this video. Let's check it out. Every single continent, we're standing on Atlantis right now. We're sitting right on top of Atlantis. It was New York. Yes, everyone on this planet is on top of Atlantis. Mm. <laughs> so Remember when you that? start to look uh, at the Americas, you discover that there were so many pyramids in the Americas, there were literally thousands of them. What happened to them? The Catholic Church blew up the tops of these pyramids and built churches on top of them. No, no, no. Really? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Come on, Fucking bro. Mark, bro. Yeah. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I was raised Catholic, they never told us that. <laughs> so he said the Catholic Church, the Catholic Church blew up the top of all of these pyramids that were in America, thousands of pyramids, the Catholic Church blew them up and built churches on top of them, okay? This is wild. Um, this is this is the first time I've ever heard anything like this. There's no uh, evidence and history of this in any type of books whatsoever so wherever he's getting this from it is obviously a bold-faced lie okay but this is crazy to even think that this makes sense is wild let's let's continue on give me a sin it's time to get going yeah, they didn't tell you guys a lot of stuff <laughs> yeah. hold on hold on hold on so yeah. break this down break down right. there were pyramids everywhere yeah the cap how do the catholics find out about are they reading the ancient texts oh no they just know we gotta we gotta eradicate this civilization science because we want to impose our will on the people <sighs> See, the Catholic Church went through something called the Inquisitions. Yes. It was the Papal Inquisitions where they went around the planet and they killed and tortured and murdered 80 million people to convert them into Christianity. And Got it. So it wasn't spread like they tell you in church, the gospel means the good news. Mm. It was really bad news when these people showed up. It, it would be like force. America showing up to your country and you have oil buried in the ground. Mm. Really? It's bad. Wow, so they were like giving women fucking rights and shit. <laughs> okay, so there is some cussing in this. Um, I forgot to say that, but it, it's a lot of cussing. None of these guys are, are are saved, so they don't, you know. So don't watch this around kids, okay? But this man said that the church went around and they they ended the lives of 80 million people, okay? The Roman Catholic Church ended the, ended, ended the lives of 80 million people. Again, bold-faced lie. There's no evidence for that. Um, and he said that the gospel that was being spread wasn't actually the gospel that is talked about in the Bible it was them going around and ending people, ending their existence, and forcing them to convert to Christianity. That's wild, bro. That is just, I mean, honestly, it can look funny, but in reality, it's very demonic, okay? Because they're literally lying about the gospel of Jesus Christ, the Lord. They're lying about the gospel completely. That's demonic, okay? Let's continue on. Oh, read. <laughs> Ridiculous. Absurd. They have, <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with these people, man? If you go to the museum in Rome, yeah. you'll find they still have the torture tools there in the museum. They're proud of them. They have the Pope's spear. The Pope's, yeah, spear, which went up in a woman's vagina. I saw that one. Pop them open from the inside. This, is good. Have, this part right here is wild, okay? This is crazy. It's a little extreme, so if you don't want to hear this part, plug your ears, fast forward a little bit. This right here is crazy. A spire Delicious. that uh, they would lower a man down onto the spire through his butthole over and over again, up and down, up and down until he died. Damn, no diddy, bro. Uh, <laughs> yes, for real. Uh, they just had all these torture mechanisms. Yeah, yeah. What they would do is get the leader, the king, the chief, you know, the the the, the um, you know, the guy who does all the sage and all that stuff. Yeah. And okay, so if y'all don't know by now, like the guys that are a part of the podcast, not Billy Carson, everyone else, they're pretty much laughing at him. OK, um, they're not I don't think that they're actually believing anything that he's saying. They're they're looking at him like he's crazy. They're asking these um, crazy questions because he looks 
crazy. He looks insane, and he is. Um, so, yeah, I just wanted to let y'all know that. They're, they are not, like, following what this guy is putting out. But let's continue on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, you know, and do that. Uh, sick people. But they... <laughs> <laughs> do what you got to do, all right? Yeah. That's wild. You got to do what you got to do. You got to spread the gospel. You got to yeah, spread the gospel. Spread the gospel. It is a good word. Under the, under the order of Rome. Yeah. And, you know, but the thing Rome said was, look, we got to get this money. Yeah. So what we're going to do is we're going get to our, get our, convert our pagan system into a Christian system. Mm -hmm. We're going to combine the two together. That's why we have all these fake holidays that are all pagan holidays yeah. in Christianity. That's right? why I mean Constantine, right? Yeah, Constantine. They just combined it all together. Mm -hmm. Now we got the taxes and we got the, the offerings. Yeah. We got both. And now we got uh, uh, the people unified. And now we can put our boot on everybody's neck. And so once they reeled up the, the leader of that village or that town and killed him like that, and everyone saw it, it was like, okay, I'm ready to learn now. Damn. Teach me your language. Show me, talk to me about your God. By the second, third generation, you, mm. you're born, you're given a name, a race, and a religion, and you don't even know who you are. Wow. Mm. So do you know which church in America or which churches are on Old Pyramids? Oh, no. You just have to go and just go out there. See, anything on, most of the older ones are on hills mm. with the triptych windows. The triptych windows are the same windows that mimic the three windows that you see in a lot of the pyramids, like in Chichen Itza, Yucatan Peninsula, and all of that. Those older ones, if you go to Mexico City, how I learned this, I went to Mexico City. I got a homegrown archaeologist. He started showing me all the hills and all the, all the old, old churches. He said those were all pyramids. So it's wild. Like when you go to the Mexico City pyramid specifically, yeah. they show you what it looked like before mm -hmm. and what it looked like after. You can never look at a hill again right. and not think it's a pyramid right. after you go see it. <laughs> Facts. It's so if go look at it, you can see these? not Chichen Itza. Yeah, that's a triptych, yes. Ah, wow, at the wow. top of all Catholic churches, one of the older ones, they all have that triptych design. Oh, and most of the ones that are old in the 1800s built on those hills were Go to the pyramids. Mexico City pyramids and do it before excavation. Because what happens is grass just starts to grow on them. Mm -hmm. yes. So they just start to look like terrain. Hill, yeah, yeah. And hills. <laughs> yeah. yeah, they just Big look like hills. hills. And people have all these like explanations for it. Like my tour guide, yeah, look at that. Mm -hmm. So like, wow. if you just saw that, like that yeah. black and white picture to mm -hmm. the right, right there, yeah, yeah. Tell me that you you would never look at that and assume pyramid, right? Yeah. Wow. Right. Wow. So now I have to look at every fucking hill and go, yeah. Should we dig this thing up? <laughs> right. See, and right. some of them are just hills. Yeah. Some. Yeah, I mean, I you got to come with some evidence with that. Okay, there there may have been some type of building um, that looked similar to a pyramid that they've made that has been pretty much um, decimated and it's emptied out. And of course, the terrain is going to naturally grow over it. But that's not, that's, that's not, you can't just make that claim off of a couple of buildings and then say that the entire, every type of hill that you see has a pyramid under it. It's just false. It just doesn't make sense. The terrain actually does that by itself. It creates different hills. You know what I'm saying? By itself. There's, it, it, it it's not a, it's, Every hill that we see is not going to be a pyramid, okay? That's just crazy talk. All right, now let's move on to what he's about to say about Jesus because this right here is the craziest part, in my opinion, of, of the entire podcast. All right, let's move on to that. Is Jesus part alien? I believe so. And was he part alien and trying to do good? Yes, I believe so. So he was breaking away. He was using his power. And yeah. he's like, yo, what these aliens are doing to us is fucked up. Right. We need to break free from that, yeah. and I'm going to liberate the people. Yeah, so you have to understand. You, you're you're right on point. There's good and evil. Yeah, Jesus everything. is the man, bro. Yeah, yeah he's there's good and evil Wait, and everything. We're all part alien yeah. at this point, right? Absolutely. Yeah. It's in our DNA. Ah, fuck. I yeah. thought he was a little bit more. Well, he was, more. he was a little bit more. Yes. How was he a little bit more? Well, if you look at the Apocrypha text, you discover that not only was Jesus' mom a virgin birth, but his grandmother was also a virgin birth. Nobody ever talks about that in church. I didn't hear about that in Sunday school. Wait a minute. So his grandma. So, wow. Yeah. So you see this establishment of this particular bloodline. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, he comes. Okay. So he says that not only is Jesus mom of virgin birth, Mary. J Mary's mom was also a virgin birth, okay? And he said that that's not in his scripture. <laughs> of course, it's not in his scripture because it's not true. Where in the scripture would it ever say that Mary's mother had a virgin miraculous birth? That is insane. And not only that, he said Jesus was part alien and Jesus wanted to liberate the people from these other aliens like man you have to be you have to be so far gone from reality to even believe anything like this okay so i want to i want to go to some scripture real quick because this is really although this is a hilarious and crazy um idiotic thing to talk about it's actually going to cause people to stumble believe it or not because there are people that do not have the spirit of god inside of them they may not be Christians, but when they hear something like this, they are more susceptible to believe it. 
and I'm going to show you that through scripture. Let's, let's go to the scriptures real quick. Okay, so this is 2 Corinthians um, chapter 11, and we're going to verse 3. It says, but, and this is Paul speaking. He says, but I am afraid that just as Eve was deceived by the serpent's cunning, your minds may somehow be led astray from the sincere and pure devotion to Christ. For if someone comes to you and preaches a Jesus other than the Jesus we preached, or if you receive a different spirit from the spirit you received or a different gospel from the one you accepted, you put up with it easily enough. Okay, so I had to under, I had to really look up what he was saying when he said you put up with it easily enough. Essentially, what Paul is saying is that when someone comes to you with this different gospel, you allow that person to infiltrate your people. You allow him to, or whoever it is to speak about Jesus and the gospel, even though it's not the one that we gave to you originally. So that's saying that if you don't have a grounded position in Christ and in the gospels, you are going to allow someone else to come into your place and speak just like Billy Carson is about Jesus and about the gospel and completely change it up. And you will actually take it as if it's true. That's what Paul is saying to these people in, um, in Corinth. Okay. This is crazy because this is what Billy Carson is essentially doing. And if you have the spirit of God, and if you know the word of God, yes, you're not going to be, you know what I'm saying? You're not going to be fooled by him, but there are people that will be fooled. And the magnitude of those people is unknown. It could be thousands of people that could potentially lose their faith in God or, or even lose whatever faith they may have had in God because they're listening to somebody like him. It's dangerous. Even though it's hilarious and crazy, it's dangerous. Through the womb and then begins to regain all of his own memories, right? So he is a reincarnation of himself from a previous lifetime. Oof. That's why sometimes I hypothesize that he could be thought the Atlantean who says that he could incarnate on and in any plane he desires. Could he have decided now to come back through the womb? So Thel the Atlantean was the king of the Atlantean Empire. Yeah, he was, a, uh, he was one of them. Or one he of the leaders of the Atlantean yes. Empire. He yeah. is reincarnating inside Jesus. Yeah. And why has he chosen to help the people instead of enslave us like he did in Good the Good question. When you look at the ancient text where Jesus gets all of his information from, <laughs> yeah, yeah. the Emerald Tablets of Thoth. We need to talk about the Emerald right? Tablets, bro. 36, 38,000 year old text. In there, in the book that I wrote about it, I line up the Christian text yeah. and I line up Jesus's text from the New Testament. How, we, people, I, this is gonna seem yeah. really ignorant. People were writing shit down 36,000 years ago? Both authored these tablets himself. He actually wrote, he didn't have a scribe. A lot of times these God figures or these leaders would have scribes. Right. He actually wrote it down himself. He actually put it onto these uh, these tablets. And these, what is he writing in? What what language? Well, it looked like the language was runes, R-U-N-E-S, okay? And uh, in this text, he writes about uh, coming, to, coming, coming to this planet after the Great Flood and seeing the temples of wow. ancient Kemet sticking up out of the mud and actually going on a mission to help rebuild civilization. Not that it was for the first time, but he's rebuilding it to a high level. So it was already built, yeah. destroyed. He's like, hey, let's run it back again. Right, his father sends him on a mission. His father says, go, uh, go to the land of Cam and do the plan that ye know of. So he gets, his, he gets his crew and he gets into the great ship of the master and he takes off until the planet disappears. Okay, so he's pretty much rambling on about this false God that comes to the earth, whatever. This man is completely insane, okay? Um, this, he, he is completely insane. There is, there, there is absolutely no evidence whatsoever to anything that he's claiming, but he's wrote books. Okay. He got books that he's wrote. He got a, a YouTube page. I think it has 500,000 plus subscribers. That's almost half a million people that follow this man. Okay. We're talking numbers here. Half a million people listen to this man every day when he posts and they believe what he's saying to be true. This is crazy, y'all. We have to contend for the faith. We have to let people know that anybody that's coming with this false gospel is an antichrist and they are liars, okay? They're liars. They don't know the gospel. They don't know Jesus. They probably have never read the word of God because if they did, they would know that they're committing blasphemy, speaking against Jesus Christ as if he was someone else that he isn't. He's the king of kings, the Lord of lords. He is the way, the truth, and the life. And he, everything that he said that's written in the text is true. Anything that's not in the text, 
that is that doesn't compare to the text, that doesn't add to the or not add, but that doesn't line up with the text is a lie. That's plain and simple. It's a lie. There's a verse in the Bible that said where I think it was also Paul. Paul was speaking about how there's going to be false teachers. He said in his time, there were false teachers. He even, uh, I forgot the two names. He even brought up two people from his time that were false teachers. And he said, there's going to be even more false teachers during your time, speaking about us in this time. And he, Billy Carson is just another false teacher. Okay, he's just another person who actually hates God, who actually hates the Bible. He's targeting, the like, why didn't he talk about um, the Muslims? Why didn't he talk about Buddhists, right? Why didn't he talk about uh, Thor and all these other false gods? No, it's because the only true God is the one that actually makes people upset. It's the one that actually causes their hearts to turn evil and, and they speak against him. And that's why he's speaking about Jesus. That's why he was speaking about the Roman Catholic Church um, and Christians in general, because God is real. Our God is the real God, and they hate that. Um, but man, look, if anyone that you know gives you a story or some kind of information about God and it doesn't line up with the scriptures, you need to expose that and you need to tell them this is not true and you are in danger of adding to the gospel and changing the gospel. And God said that if you do that, he will add you unto the plagues. He will add you unto, into the lake of fire. You're going to be doomed for that. So it's very dangerous to try to change the gospel, man. This is crazy. All right, man, look, that's all I got for y'all today. Let me know what y'all think about the video in the comment section, okay? If you're new to the channel and you like what you see, I encourage you, hit that subscribe button, hit the post notification bell so you don't miss another video, all right? Remember to keep God first. My name is Aaron Page. I'm gonna catch y'all on the next video. Until next time, I'm out.